Megalodon and the all-new Thunderorus monster truck, and many, many more. Uh, monster Jam 2023. Always a good time. You can go to monsterjam.com if I missed anything. Uh, but you get a four-pack of tickets here for Monster Jam, so good luck. Caller 10. These are yours. 216-578-1007 or 800-348-1007. You'd flee a wildfire. Evacuate. You'd prepare for a hurricane. But there's no escaping this disaster. It's one of the worst disasters that I've seen in my career. It's the Alan Cox Show. On 100.7 WMMS. Three five one nine two. If you want to send a text, I'll see them there. If you want to watch live, go to alancoxshow.com. Thank you again to Horace Badank for helping out. Back in the video department, the Cavaliers coming off a big win against the Pacers in Indiana. Uh, they stay on the road. They're in D.C. tonight to play the Wizards at 7 o'clock. 6.30 is when pregame begins here on MMS. And then they come back home Wednesday to play the Detroit Pistons, who remain the worst team in basketball. Woo. I think. I think they are. It's pretty been pretty neck and neck with them in Houston. But that'll be... But again, Cavaliers can lose to the Detroit Pistons, too. But uh, so far, uh, Detroit's only won 13 games. So they're having a rough time. As they usually do, quite frankly. Uh, but that's tonight. If you listen to us on iHeartRadio, you can leave messages there. Uh, if you're one of our bureau chiefs, tell me where you listen. Rodney listens in Porter, Texas. Melissa is in Seattle. Uh, Andrew listens in Wilmore, Kentucky. Scott's up in Alpena, Michigan. Uh, Diane is new in Inverness, Florida. And Karen is one of our bureau chiefs in Huntsville, Alabama. And I was reading about a woman, I think this is in Alabama. Uh, no, I'm sorry, it is right here in Ohio. It's out in Stark County. A woman who is tired of all the Karen memes, and so she's legally changing her name. And I don't quite understand why you would do this. Because you're a Karen. <laughs> but why not just, like, I don't know. The legal name change seems weird. Uh, a woman named Karen Firestone who's out in Stark County, who said that uh, she's north of 50, she's blonde, she's got the hair, and she's over it. I tell people I'm one of the nice Karens, she said, but she has filed an application in Stark County to change her name from Karen to Cat, which means that Cat was probably already her nickname. So I don't know what it costs, by the way, to legally change your name. But are people that drilling in on the Karen thing still? Like, it's... It doesn't... They're not necessarily that they're still drilling it in. That has forever changed. Right, but don't the Karen videos seem like they've tapered off? They have, but it doesn't matter. Now, forever, the name Karen means entitled white lady. One of the... Um, one of the people who came out to the Polar Blast on Friday, we probably all ended up talking to her, because she was very quick to point out that she had no idea who I was, but that oh the, my God, the yeah. two guys she's with love the show. And so she was, she's a big WGAR fan. I said, that's great because that's one of our radio stations. So I said, that doesn't bother me at all. It's never an insult when somebody tells me they don't know who I am. Um, she's like, but she told me her name was Karen. And she's like, I not like that. I hate to tell you my name. I'm like, really? I'm like, that wouldn't have even occurred to me when she said, you know, because if they don't tell me their name, I'll ask. I'll introduce myself and my eyes, Karen. I hate to even say it. I'm like, that would not have that would not have occurred to me to go, oh. Everyone does that. They do? Yes, because even like at comedy Still? shows, yes, mm -hmm. that'll never go away. At comedy shows, when I ask people, like, oh, talking to a crowd or something, they go, like, oh, what's your name? If I if the girl responds, Karen, the entire audience will go, oh, oh. like, mm -hmm. I think that's going to be a very long time before that goes away. Hmm. Yeah, that's in the zeitgeist now. No, I understand that. I mean, even without the constant flow of videos that that is drilled into people's heads. 
But to the point where you change your name legally. I bet. I just bet have so people annoying. start calling. Is it? I, I bet, dude. Every time someone checks your ID or does anything, they see your car. Oh, Karen. I, people are idiots. Yeah, I guess. Well, enough so for this lady out in Stark County to, you know. Um, you remember Stark County, right, where Phil Davison was running for oh, yeah. Stark County Treasurer? I have been a Republican in times good, and I have been a Republican <laughs> in times bad. Oh, I Poor love that guy. guy. Right. Of course, it's always times bad now to be a Republican. But 10 years ago, Phil Davison really wanted you to know that he was in it to win it out there in Stark County. I will hit the ground running, come out swinging, and end up winning. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> it kind of sounds like Chris Farley. Yeah, very uh, Van <laughs> Down by the River vibes. <laughs> yeah, I guess uh, at that time he thought that um, channeling Matt Foley was a good mm-hmm. uh, move. Of course, that was 10 years ago. That was at a time when a person like that on the Republican side would be seen as, well, this ain't going to work for us. Unstable. Now they this guy would be someone's king. This might be, if he's still out there and hoping to run for office, this might be the time to do it. Because you can never be too crazy on that side. And there are no times good anymore if you're running for office. In that party, but anyway, Karen out there in Stark County uh, is paying whatever it costs to legally change your name. I can't imagine um, legally changing your name is prohibitively expensive, Probably right? Hundred bucks. I didn't bucks. even think it was that. I I don't know how much it is, but but you still got to get all your friends and family to call you a different name. Well, that's why he was saying Cat's yeah. probably already her nickname. Already her yeah. nickname, yeah. But to change. It's Maybe reverse. because she doesn't want to deal with people short looking skirt, at skirt, long jacket, reverse situation. She's changing Change her name from Kitty, Kitty to Karen, Karen. Yeah. and she going changed, back. Yeah, changing her name from Karen to Kitty. <laughs> She's got a short jacket and a long skirt. Uh, sociology professor at UMass Amherst says that um, social stigmas don't come in obvious forms, such as a scar on your face. Names are part of our identity. This person says, and if a name like Karen has been th- so thoroughly run through the mud, you understand where people are coming from. Karen has turned into a disaster name, much like Katrina, the name of a hurricane in 2005, or Chad, which is the male version of Karen. If you're a guy, you don't want to be a Chad. I've never heard of that. In any capacity. Really? A Chad? No. Oh, no. But- it's huge. A giga yeah. Chad. Yeah, that that's definitely uh, that has that's older than Karen. Yeah, Karen is a relatively new phenomenon, and I'm curious how was the very first woman? I mean, was there an OG Karen? I mean, that turned. No, I don't think so. I think somebody been, just came up with Karen. I went off on this before the pandemic even happened. It was like January of 2020. I posted this thing on Instagram that got a lot of heat, where I was like. Stop using the name Karen for every chick who does something wrong. Mm-hmm. It's so annoying. It's so overplayed. We've all seen the memes, like, just use the person's real name. And then, no joke, like, during the pandemic when all those Karen videos started coming out, I gave up hope. I was like, this is just part of society. It's mm-hmm. going to be this way forever. It drives me literally insane. I hate it so much, but it's been around. You know, That's. You know what you're kind of acting like, though? A Karen. That's what everybody said when I went off on that video. I was like, it's so aggravating. So, it sounds like a beat of Karen. But I also it. think that maybe it starts at a grassroots level because any time that I've posted something or made a joke about what would be understood as a Karen, I'll change the name because I think that's funnier. It is. Don't well, tell me what to do, Brenda, or, you know, just a random name that's not Karen. I agree. I think that's better. You can start it right here. We'll, we'll change the world. What's the name? Mary. No. <laughs> <laughs> you don't like that? I'm like a no. real Mary right yeah, now. Yeah, she is. Yeah, right. Oh, uh, come on. Energy. All right. Enough. Wow. Mm-hmm. What a giga Mary she is. Mm. Mary, Mary, why you bugging? Well, anyway, Karen on Stark County said she thought long and hard about it. She said she even prayed about it. Well, no wonder. She clearly got no answer. Since that's ridiculous. Mm -hmm. But uh, she used to be um, a public relations director for the Ohio Department of Energy. 
She did PR for Macy's in California. She's an accomplished professional woman. And she said she's preparing to go back into the workforce and doesn't. Now, see, this makes sense to me. She's prepared. She was caring for her parents, I guess. Karen for her parents, if you will. Oh, that's and a nice Hill, Karen. And now she's going back into the workforce and she's like, I don't want to deal with people's ha-has. Yes. Well, I guess that's maybe, yeah, I guess that wouldn't occur to me. Because when I met this woman at the Polar Blast, she was, clearly she knew more about it than I did. She's got to tell people every time that's her name. <laughs> I'm just meeting her one time. So she was more sensitive to it than I guess I would have assumed. She was very nice. It wasn't like she was snippy or anything. She was just kind of like, oh, ha, I, I know. It, she was like preemptively laughing, assuming mm-hmm. that I was going to go, oh, but that wouldn't even have even occurred to me. I mean, I dated a Karen for many years, you know, but that, that was 30 years ago. But still, that was pre all this. At its peak in 1965, Karen was the third most popular baby name in the U.S. For boys and girls. The one Karen I know is a really sweet girl and kind of slutty, so I like the name. I don't think I know any <laughs> Karens. No, I don't either, I don't think. Um... But it is nice that you describe her as sweet and slutty, mm-hmm. Both despite sides. the fact that yeah. the second one is the one that's They're really both. got you. They're both, I like both aspects. Yeah. Well, she's a lady in the street, but a freak in the bed. It's kind of, yeah, I mean, both, though. She's kind of outward about her sluttiness, too. She owns it. I appreciate in, that. Um, in 2021, the name Karen fell out of the top 1,000 for the first time in 100 years. The Karen hashtags um, are seen on about 40 billion. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It's not going anywhere. Oh, God. Hey, John. Yes. What's up? <clears throat> All right. Hey, I know where the origins of Karen came from. Oh, good for you. Where? Tell me. All right. So the movie Goodfellas, Henry's wife was Karen. Now, remember when she caught him cheating on her? What did you do that for? Karen! <laughs> Karen! What did you... Yeah, Ray Liotta, when she flushed the cocaine. Karen! No, 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 no. Oh. No, no, no. When when she put the gun to his head, when he was laying in bed, and he's like, Karen. Right. Put the gun away, honey. Car- Karen. Karen, put the gun away. That's where it came from. No, that was See, like 30 pe- years ago. Well, people told me it was from yeah. Mean Girls, which I've seen precisely one time, and so I couldn't recall... No, because um, the character okay. in Mean Girls is stupid. She's not mean or rude or she's just dumb. Okay. Well, anytime the wife starts freaking out, that don't be a Karen. That's basically where it came from. Right, okay. <laughs> well, there, and there's probably generational aspects to it. Thank you, John. I would have never thought um, Goodfellas. Goodfellas. Although yeah. I do like Karen. Yeah. Why? That was always my reference to it. That, anytime somebody say the name Karen, it was yeah. Karen. And then it became something else. So I'm equally pissed and it was that the zeitgeist has removed that from me. For an aunt, like you, you your Aunt Karen, because it's just that age Aunt group. Nancy. Nancy is the one Karen. I'd go for. Well, that's what me and... Uh, I think everyone has an Aunt two, Nancy. Two ex-girlfriends ago, uh, we call the older ladies that always hit on me Nancys. Mm-hmm. And so... She, she, oh, I always like that Nancys. term. Uh, negative Nancy's? No, not negative. They're Positive Nancy's. Horny Nancy's. <laughs> I always liked the uh, Italian males who were toxic in my family who would call uh, feminine men Nancy's. I always thought that was fun. What are you, a little Nancy? Right. <laughs> That's so stupid. Why? That's just kind of, they're trying to, um, because trying it to doesn't sissify, even make right? Sense. Are you a pansy, Alan? Well, it would be different, too, if the Karen thing was just relegated to videos and things, but it was like merch and mugs and T-shirts yeah. and, you know. Yeah. Shut up, Karen shirts. Here's a mug. Hush, Karen, nobody cares that you can have made. And it would suck for the Karen in the office, you know. Be like, uh, oh, okay. I didn't do anything. All right. Is a sweatshirt that says Brandon won, Karen lost. What the hell that means? But so they're like, you know, it's a generation of grandparents and great grandparents that were named Karen, and so a lot of those people, you know. Um, but the Karen on Stark County says she picked Cat 
because it's close to her given name. If her request is approved in court, there will be one less. When is your name change never approved, by the way? It's Maybe not if like, it's yeah, like... If it's like uh, penis McVagina, they might not approve well, it. Well, no, but she's not asking for it. <laughs> Why would Karen not be approved? You know, well, I, I just... want to change it to cat. I want to drop a, a, a vowel and change one of the consonants. Maybe she'll be rude to the judge and the judge will be like, I'm not changing this. I'm not doing you this. You're living up to, the to name. it. Yep. Sorry, lady. You done played yourself. Hello, Pete. Hello. What's going on? Nothing. I want to throw my hat in the whole Karen origin thing. All right, origin. <laughs> Tell me. I I started hearing it first from Rob Deerdeck on Ridiculousness constantly, like three, four years ago. Okay. I don't know if you ever watched that before. That, um, that's I watched that's it. Where I, uh, that's where I hear it all the time. Yeah, I, I liked Robin Big a lot. I, I didn't really watch Ridiculousness. Yeah, that that that's it. used to be funny, but it was like a four hundred seasons. But yeah, I, I, he would always say it. I know that was a pretty popular show, right before all this really blew up. But that's I mean, that's why that's my opinion. Anyway, if it matters, it all matters, Pete. I appreciate it. Thank you. There's Pete in Strongsville who's attaching the first uses of Karen to uh, Rob Deerdick, professional skateboarder, and Bon Vivant. Over there on MTV. That's basically all MTV is now, right? Is reruns of ridiculousness. Yeah, pretty much. Yep. Well, that's how, you know, for people who go, oh, he couldn't have that kind of effect on pop culture. But yeah, the guy's on MTV 23 hours a day. Nancy Boy and Cry Sally, somebody said. Hmm. All right, well. Yeah, there's all kinds of ways to insult someone by trying to make them uh, feel like somehow they are feminine in... Uh, and what they're doing. Are you a pansy, Alan? Like that guy. Pansy. I gotta take a break. I'll have, uh, ooh, you wanna go see Robert Plant? He's going back out with Allison Krauss. They have collaborated uh, on a number of things in the studio and on tour. I don't think it's him out there doing Zeppelin covers. You know, he might kind of drop a couple of bars in here and there. Uh, but if you dig that whole vibe that those two put on, they're gonna come through and do Blossom this summer. And I'll have passes for you all this